Welcome Hacker Phones and Secrets uh, doing a tutorial on how to set up Cybergate. If you don't have Cybergate already downloaded, you can search up Hack, hack Forms and download it from there. Okay, let's get started. What you want to do is open a Cybergate program. Okay, wait for the disclaimer to load. Alright, now that it's loaded, click on I agree. Okay, and then this should open. Now that you have it open, you'll want to go to Control Center, click on Start, put on 999. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you how to port forward on a different video. For right now, I'm just gonna show you how to set this up on uh, local settings. Click on this blue arrow right here. Okay, connection limit. You might want to raise it to 500. Okay, now that's at 520, not 500. Anyways, show password and put one two three four five six and click on save now hmm. all right since I already did this I'll just show you how to create the server and then you will want to go back on control center and click on builder create server and you want to click a new user and typically you could put anything you want here uh, let's name it sluts I saw it on hack forms the other day so credits whoever to that anonymous user okay and then you want to click on that and then click forward and this is just local uh, usually what you do here is click on add right here would be your no IP from which you get from noip.com and then the the port that you're forwarding on okay and then password like we put on before one two three four five six and you want to go to installation in the installation directory I would recommend uh, putting it on system and then on active setup click it uh, click on random five times uh, on mutex once again five times and then uncheck melt file click on persist persistence hide file change creation date up here where it says file name you can change the server to whatever you want it want it to be named uh, but I'm gonna just leave it like that cuz I I don't want to change it message um, what this does when someone opens your rat it'll display a message uh, you can put anything you want here for example arrow bitch get screwed I don't know okay and then test and this is what you get Okay, and then the keylogger. If you don't have an FTP, you can just leave it alone, and it'll create uh, WordPad files on your uh, file where your Cybergate is located under uh, Documents. So you can access that later. Anti-debug. You want to make sure everything is checked, unless you're going to run Sandboxy to test your server. But until then, uh, click on Check All, and then you want to go over to Create Server. Compress with UPX just makes your file smaller. Uh, if you want to press, if you want that, then you could just click that. Bind files, I really wouldn't recommend it, as it'll, well, I mean, it won't really fud it. So you could just use your own binder. Delayed ex execution, what it really does, is if you click on it, it delays how many seconds uh, after the person must wait for it to open. You might want to leave it at zero so you can it, be, it could be quicker and then you'll want to click on create server okay and then just save it uh, you can name it anything you want I'm gonna leave it at server I'm gonna save it and then click on yes okay and then you want to uh, travel to your uh, cybergate folder and see how I have server here I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna start my server and, I, and you should you should be there. I get some errors because I don't have anything. See how I just popped up twice, and it should work. If you d if it doesn't, then just message me and I'll see what I could do for you. Troubleshoot some things and see what's wrong. Until then, watch out for my next video on how to port forward it. So stay tuned. See you, hack forms.